Hey, Keith and Andrew over Seriously Strong Training. Today we're gonna to show you how to do suitcase deadlifts. There's a lot of different ways to set this up. Um, today we're using a box and a dumbbell. You can use a kettlebell, um, you know, you can adjust the height. For us, a good starting height is gonna be somewhere around um, a few inches below the knee. What we're focused on here is where we're gripping that handle, right? Um, so if you've got big kettlebells, you know, you can just set those on the ground because the handle is gonna be a little higher on them. But for our setup today with the dumbbell, we're gonna be using this box. So what's important here is that he's going to go ahead and reach down and grab that handle, but he's going to have good deadlift mechanics here, right? So he's going to have his shoulders set, his back arched, and he's hinging from the hip. It's a suitcase deadlift, it's not a squat. So it's not so much the knees doing the motion, it's more of the hip. And we're going to show you from the side here in just a moment. Notice here how he stays very neutral, right? He's not letting the weight take him to the side as he's doing these. So as he lowers it down, he's gonna push the hips back into a good hip hinge position and back up. Suitcase deadlifts are phenomenal for challenging your core, especially the obliques, inner and outer obliques. So the side that he's using, he's holding to the weight on, we're gonna be challenging the other side of the core. Let's go see another one. This, this side of the core, these obliques are gonna be working overtime here, especially if you're doing a great job of keeping yourself neutral as you're doing this lift. Go ahead and hinge it down. And then we're gonna show you from the side as well what that's gonna look like. So again, good hinge here, nice and flat through here. Most of the motion coming from the hip, just a little bit in the knee, and a good hip hinge back down. Clearly, it's a one-sided exercise, so make sure you're switching after you've, you know, switching sides after you've hit your reps on that side. Go to the other side to make sure you develop evenly, getting your core going, your grip going, your upper back going. Give these exercises a shot and let us know what you think.